Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. The camera's really far away right now because I need you to see this desk and everything. And so some insight on what I'm going to be doing a little bit in the future is I'm planning on doing a bunch of videos on different apps you can use for the phone because there's a lot of things out there and it's a lot of really good things. So as I was looking through some stuff, some apps, so one of them I thought was just going to be on, it's a digital hot solving Rubik's Cube. And I opened it up and said, okay, connect your merge cube. And I said, what is a merge cube? This is a merge cube. So what this is, is a little thing of plastic that creates an augmented reality space. So it's a identifier. So your camera can see where the augmented reality is. If you don't know what augmented reality is, it's not complete virtual reality. We are inside of a different virtual world, but it's, but it's where you can see through the camera the real world and then you end up seeing a virtual thing inside of it. So the best example would be Pokemon Go. The Pokemon are virtually in this world if you still have a camera on from Pokemon Go or if you're still playing it. So the Merge Cube. Let's open this up and try this out because I am super excited. Now this is normally for like schools. That's kind of what it was made for. They're actually not that expensive either. Um, I mean, it's a piece of plastic and it's about $15 for a piece of plastic new, but you're also paying for the work that went into making this happen. Ooh, there's an activation code. Yeah, this is a, just a really big piece of foam. Kind of nice, but also I think I can activate it just right from the app and it's a Rubik's Cube app. So I'm guessing it looks like it's actually from or they worked with the Rubik's Cube company. So let's open that up and I'll have it so you can see the phone on here as well. Access to the camera, okay. Access to the camera granted. Extra photos, okay. Scan to begin, what am I scanning? It's done. And it, it's mixing up. Okay, so I can grab this and move this around and see all of the sides. Wait, 33%, is that how much done it is? Okay, so I've got two colors on the white cross already. Oh no, there we go. Okay, so let's do this. I just sort of touch the phone there. Okay, that's actually not bad. So I can do something like, let's see here, can I do, nope, uh-oh. One more. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to put this down because that's actually already a little tiring for my arm to hold. But, yeah, that's nice. So let's go. <laughs> Sound effects. Okay. There's green and orange. Where's the other green and orange? Okay, it's right there. Wish I could, like, just move it with my finger. Can I do this? <laughs> nope, that doesn't really work. It looks really nice turning. Oh, yeah, I need one more. There we go. So, it, it's, I like that I can just sort of view it like this and move it around because it, it recognizes what's going on with the puzzle quite nicely. Someone's playing basketball outside, so I don't know if you can hear all that dribbling. I've been planning on getting soundproof panels, and then I'm just lazy, so I don't get them. On that note, actually, if I get sound panels, if I get colors, you probably won't see them too much, but what colors would you prefer? So let me know if you have a specific color you think would look best. Okay, and then this is, I think, um, sort of the... First part of a Y perm. Wait, what am I doing? I don't remember how Y perm works. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, I know. Okay. There we go. There we go. Nope. Yep. Down. And then there it is. Yeah. And then G perm. So what is this? Like. Um, and then wide, flip, and then insert. Da, 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 da. Nice. Okay, so 
that worked out really well. But let's go back here. And there's a VR mode. So I'm going to pause this for a second. And I originally wasn't going to get any sort of VR thing. So I'm thinking, you know, that's a lot of, that's a lot. But I got a thing. I actually got it uh, used, or I don't know if it's used or just a open package, but it was only, I think, about 20 bucks. So it's something your phone still fits into. Now, I've only had one experience with sort of a virtual reality goggles. This isn't going to be virtual reality, but there are different apps that can be like that. And it was... I was doing a music coaching. I was at some school and some kid had one with a phone slid into it. I've never used Oculus or anything like that. And it was some sort of scary game. I don't know what to call it. Uh, suspense. And all I remember is I was standing outside in virtual reality, but it was like dark forest and... Oh, there we go. It was a dark forest and I remember looking over at a door and like handprints were on it. If you know what that was, let me know. Um, so let me know about that and let me know what color sound panels you'd like. Okay. Well, there's still a bunch of stuff. So if this was used, it wasn't used really at all. Um, okay. So we've got these things here that adjust. Oh, there's buttons. And this slides the lenses in and out. So let's see here. Let's go back to recording. I've never actually used a phone recording, so I don't know how long the battery lasts. Let's get my head in this thing. Ugh. See you guys later. Okay, so I made the video last night. It went fine, but two issues, one, I didn't adjust the camera, the le I didn't know you could actually just record um, what you actually would see instead of the, like, the dual screen. And so I tried doing that, but it keeps stopping the recording really soon because it's in the app. So I'm not going to be able to make that work. And I had a really bad experience the first time. Figured I'm like, well, this is just, this is bad. And I like walked out of my office, my wife was sitting on the couch, and I was like, eh. So then we spent about an hour just watching different videos or trying different things with it, and it's fantastic. So um, <laughs> let's go back and try this again. Um, I actually re-recorded the whole thing, and then I realized, again, the video didn't record. So I'm going to record it through my computer and not record it through the phone, so it doesn't have to do as much work. A um, couple things. So these buttons up top work as actual buttons for anything. So you could go to a VR YouTube video and use this to control it. Um, so you basically look and you hit that button. There was another issue where it looked like the the cube, it was it had a lot of shadows on some sides, so it didn't always respond perfectly well. So I'm gonna move it a little bit farther away so it's more in that light. And here we go. I also found that the way I have to look at it, um, is I have to hold it a little bit more down than I think what it would normally be. But, okay, scan to begin. Is this not scanning? Oh, there we go. A couple things about this is it's not super intuitive. Like, you can't use your hand to adjust it. Um, if you cover it up, though. Yeah. So you still have to use these buttons. And, I mean, you can still grab it and move it around. Um, let's see here. What's Blue Cross looking like? Ooh, Blue Cross is nice. I'll do Blue Cross. Blue Cross is really nice. Okay, so you still kind of have to look and do stuff like this. Um, so it's not fantastic, but it does what its job is. Oh, wait, I messed something up. Oh, I still have to do this, I think. There we go. Okay, so then... Yep, it'll move automatically, but it's if I move it like this, it's a little bit easier. And then down. And then where's the red and white? Is that it right there? Yeah, that is. Okay, so let's move this over here back. 
Um, over, down, wait, nope, that's not right. I think I need one more. There we go. I am messing this all up. Let's try this again. Here we go. There it is. And then what do we have here? Red and yellow. Okay. So I wish there was a down arrow here so I didn't have to go all the way down there. First world problems. So I see, Do I remember this alg? I do it, but nope, not that. Oh, who's doing lawn work? Don't they know that I am making a video? Oh, that is just awful. Okay, I'm completely messing this up. Can I just get back to where I was? More reason to need sound panels. I'll just fast forward this and put in some lovely music. That is definitely the best music ever written. Okay, oh, hopefully that all recorded. Did it all record? Let's find out. Is my computer still going? Yeah. So, <laughs> works better with that cord. I'll just leave it on like this while I talk to you guys. So, is it worth the money for this just one thing? Eh, probably not. But it's definitely a lot of fun. Um, it's something different. I think, you know, for people who have never experienced virtual reality, it's a nice little headset that that is actually good quality that's you can use for other things as well that, that other than not this you can just watch videos and um yeah so i would check it out i'll put a link in the description where i got it i just bought them off amazon uh, leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below hit like subscribe for more content like this in the future and as always stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews